Good day, Collective. This is a general healing and ascension message regarding archetypes. Current archetype energy is the judge and the self, okay? Personal readings are available. The links are in the description box. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay? The archetype, the judge, the critic, the diplomat, the advocate. When on the light side, you're using discernment, advocacy, you're taking the right action and having compassion. On the dark side, you're critical, you're punishing, unforgiving, and wall building. Think deeper about this aspect with the reminder of Osiris and the white feather of Ma'at, okay? It says it's, the judge's energy is contagious. When we feel judged, walls go up all around. Similarly, when we feel accepted, the entire world softens. The judge has an incredibly important job. They work every waking hour of every day, helping us discern what is safe, true, and just. When this archetype remains unconscious or is captivated by fear, wise discernment turns into painful judgment of self and others. Let's go to the self energy. The self energy, the soul, the witness, the watcher. With this card showing up, it could mean you're on the right track. It can also mean you need to challenge yourself to expand your sense of identity beyond the little self. And the ego resists such movement. On the light side, this archetype is witnessing accepting new aspects of self. On the dark side, this archetype is disjointed, fatigued, diffuse energy and purpose. Go deeper with this archetype. And watch Robert Bly read Kabir's poem, This Clay Jug. If you do practice chanting, now is a good time to practice the chant So Ham Sat Nam. The self is the prism that allows the spectrum of our personalities to radiate. It does not judge, prohibit, suppress, or oppress any of its parts, as it lovingly knows that all aspects have a time and a place and leads us to experience the full breath <laughs> of life's offerings, okay? The awareness of self-collective and infinite possibilities are available to you when you observe yourself navigating the world let's get some chakra oracle wisdom messages what does my collective need to know chakra oracle messages we have perfection we have despondence we have recovery Yes, a lot of you are recovering from low vibrational karmic soulmates, whether these are friends, family, children, etc. We have the creation card. Collective, make sure you're manifesting renewal energy, okay? That's recovery in reverse. So some of you, those that are out of grief, you're fully out of grief. You manifest renewal. To those that are in the recovery energy, you all need to start balancing, clearing, and healing your throat chakra, okay? And balances of your throat chakra collective can cause you to communicate looking like this and or this, okay? Wild and free. Or smug and it's all about your discernment and your perception though also with how you gain your creativity energy for some of you what makes you creative is damaging to your solar plexus chakra and your root chakra 
okay that's where the trickery comes in that's when you have energy vampires narcissists once again collective is about your perception your perception is clearer about spell work in general collective when your heart chakra is balanced and cleared on a daily basis wisdom what's coming in the near future miracle keep your solar plexus chakra just a moment keep your solar plexus chakra free of this type of energy okay this shouldn't be in your heart all right to my individuals that are working in your creative empress energy male and or female you all now are balancing your shadows some of you are allowing your shadows to post up slowly just wait for the what's next energy judgment energy and then some of you are in this energy where if you've kept something put up for a while you're about to bring it out for those of you that already feel like those that know they know you are going to be stuck on a dead end forever going moment okay you're always going to be in this energy looking at some dead flowers because somebody wants to be insecure that's because their perception is not in the upright this energy has a lot of imbalances due to spell work and how they used other energies other people's solar plexus chakra energy in the process of them doing this and a lot of it that's where a lot of people creative energy was going collective individuals wanted you to doubt your own instincts they put in a lot of work to do so. Some people thought they caught you at times where you were in your empress, creative, nurturing, vulnerable energy. Interesting. So we have the judge and the self. What does the collective need to know about this creation? They like creating talk especially at gatherings or group meetings. It's like some people feel lying, being de deceptive and sneaky. They feel like that's a, um, like a mission, but that's because they do not have clear communication flowing in and out of their senses. <laughs> okay. To my females that are king of wand energy on a daily basis, you all have to tap into your feminine energy. Even if you do not know the person biologically that carried you, regardless if you know them or not, you have to tap into that bloodline in order to heal it. To bring the miracles into that energy. What does the collective need to know about the creation card? That judging energy. Advocacy. Creation. We have five of cups in reverse. There's an the energy of those that have not given birth to children. Those are the energies that are know how to network and communicate more openly more freely those energies are seeing a light at the end of the tunnel for them literally 
That's the light at their hand, at her hand. Okay. They're manifesting, teaming up. But the gossipers, the gossipers, the the codependent people, the people that are incompatible as friends, but because we both walk in the same skin that makes us both king of wands. Okay. What's the five of cups in reverse? This judge energy, somebody. It is a literal judge. Wrapped up in a scandal. This judge looked at a pregnant person with that type of face and the universe said, oh, yeah? Okay, wrap it up. She's locked game tight. They didn't know that. And some that did know, they're getting news. Collective. What's the despondence energy? The self energy. High Priestess, intuitively you all know the answer is that you have to stop gossiping. You have to stop being on social media. Thinking you know somebody's life because of spending enough creative endeavors with them brought you into some kind of bad luck, an unhappy cycle, some negative karma, but you didn't end up in physical jail. You were not stuck in spiritual jail. So that creative energy that you had in the Knight of Wands energy some people gossip because they clout chase. They don't have a real close knit connection group of at least 10 people that they can communicate with 365 days out the year. That brought towers to individuals that like to create light at the end of tunnels for other individuals. Okay. But collective, I think you all realize this tower is karma, but it's fair, it's balanced, and it's just. There's no lies about what's taking place here. Oh, six of swords, karma waters, being divinely guided. Just a moment. Let's see about these miracles, okay? The way you draw in miracles, of course, is to be grounded in your root chakra. Make sure you are earthing, hiking, especially when you're in that judgment energy. You remember we saw that in the chakra oracle message? Dissipating, isolation, isolation also in reverse, complacency. It's all about how responsible you are, collective, literally. Let's talk about this miracle in the near future. Knight of Swords in reverse and King of Wands. Y'all are going to have some confrontation, and y'all know in the near future, either with the justice system or involving feminine energies three of pentacles in reverse the miracle is the people that are in two minds realizing something was weak there those that are weak queen of swords in reverse queen of wands in reverse excuse me Okay, so this Queen of Swords on social media, she's watching. She likes to watch tarot. The miracle is the energy that knows being low vibrational, insecure, 
especially with the solar plexus chakra. The misuse and abuse of the solar plexus chakra. The miracle goes in reverse. Aquarius energy. This is age of Aquarius, Saturn, karma. So in situations, somebody feels like being sneaky is the way to get them to calmer waters. That's what they've learned. Page of Swords and Page of Pentacles. Some of you all are pregnant with two children. Some of you have two children. What about the Page of Swords? You have the Queen of Cups. Some of y'all children are kings and queens already. Some of y'all be having nightmares. Children having nightmares. You have the full card. It's an energy from when they were a newborn baby collective. So if you are a female, you've already given birth. You are currently pregnant. Your intuition is on. You know when you're going to have a positive change in your life. Emperor, King of Cups. Then boom. Okay. Somebody's like the energy though. A baby on the way. That's money. That's coins. Six of Pentacles. Nine of Swords in reverse. Kind of on some forget what they talking about. I see coins. What's the equal give and take here, though? Because this energy is the Queen of Wands in reverse. This energy got left. A lot of unhealed energy wrapped up in a cycle for the for the individual that was um, being sneaky when receiving miracles and also in the near future. Silently, no longer working with lower vibrational energies. Closing that cycle. Star card in reverse. Walking away from the insecure type of energy. Where you don't feel safe, secure, and protected in your body. That's the problem. Ten of pentacles in reverse. That's when you know, okay, this is low vibrational. This cause unstableness. Cause of being unstable. You stop doing that. Oh, somebody. Okay, so three of swords in reverse. Libra, Aquarius energy. Some of you let go of the unhealed uh, cycles in your life. Four of pentacles and the devil card. Some of y'all are in the energy of clearing up uh, generational financial trauma. Generational financial trauma that had a hold on this energy yeah you got the lovers making positive choices Gemini energy what's the nine of swords in reverse letting go seven of wands letting go of having that wall up so thick and heavy now, whoever over here that knows either they are going to be celebrating good karma. And then you have the energy of those that are currently pregnant. Page cups. Two of cups. Ace of wands. Hangman. Hierophant. Some individuals also are aware that they are pregnant or gave birth to masculine energies that were still spiritually uh, connected to lower vibrational generational lines okay some of y'all are spiritually pregnant some of y'all are literally pregnant some of y'all already had this energy seven of cups i guess it depends on what illusion you live in right what's the justice card Yeah, the person that thinks they're so smart and charming, the police go pull up. <laughs> Justice, Chariot, Hierophant, and Emperor.
Everybody's watching. Queen of Cups and Six of Pentacles. Temperance in reverse. The children are unbalanced. The child is unbalanced. The relationship amongst an hierophant, an emperor, an unhealthy relationship with an hierophant and an emperor, an unhealthy relationship that's unbalanced. It's just moving in the direction of balance, truth, karma for individuals that were in the will of fortune in reverse energy. Being very intellectual. You don't do gossip on social media. Three of Cups in reverse with the Six of Wands. We don't gossip on social media. Who gossips on social media? People sit up every day and gossip on social media. I guess because they feel like celebrities do it. Celebrity. <laughs> Collective, you are the magician. Who made them famous? Who made them a celebrity? Who had to give them their coins every day? Put everything that the Queen of Pentacles invested in it and put now into the Seven of Pentacles. And you see it's another individual on this card. A man. Everything that the Queen of Pentacles is populating <laughs> on a yearly, daily basis. Because days add up into months which adds up into well weeks and then months and then years seven years worth of a woman's worth work going to this man out here in the field i think that's a hoe he holding it's some type of gardening tool that's what i know a hoe to be this temperance in reverse energy nine of wands sagittarius energy I think that is the South Node right now, Sagittarius. Yeah, you got King of Pentacles, but the Four of Cups in the reverse. King and Queen of Pentacles right there. Somebody is Four of Cups in reverse. They tired of being bored. They about to do something else. This same man in the Seven of Pentacles is also in the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, yeah, Wounded Warrior energy. Prepare for battle. Six of Pentacles, though, the scales of balance. Positive Libra energy. It's a low vibrational earth sign in the equation. That person may have a water sign. Child. May made a situation out of something from being selfish, lying, drunk. And then it was like, oh, I'm going to say it's a miracle. No, nah, what kind of, what? Exactly. Make a plan. Two of wands. <laughs> Ten of wands. Truth is. Even if whoever this person is saying, oh, I can't get over you. It's because they've been mastering putting in work using you energetically and spiritually to get new investments from the universe they're under judgment for it you're under judgment for what you do practicing your own skills and talents on top of what type of character person are you eight of wands in reverse return to sender heavy four of wands shaky foundation that somebody doesn't want to accept Five of Swords, because they knew they were being sneaky, manipulative, doing things in the dark. They didn't think it was that bad now. Oh, they think it's bad, bad. They see now. I was blind, but now I see. Well, collective, on the high vibrational side, those that are going to be receiving miracles. It's because slow and steady wins marathons. This energy of it being competition, that's a lie. It's not a competition. You have sticks, 
and then we have wands, rods, and then swords. One is made of steel, one is made of wood. That's the balance, okay? You have to remember, regardless if you're in a male or a female body, you have to balance your soul, your groundedness, your empress energy in the spiritual realm and the material realm. Somebody feels like, well, pregnancy, you never know when it's going to happen. It's a masculine energy like, yeah, the fuck you do. It's a masculine energy that feels very sickened and distraught about a new relationship, a new pregnancy, the manipulation of a pregnancy ending. Strength card in reverse. That's that's I just dropped the literal tower on somebody right there. Well, collective. That's the illusion that spiritual bankrupt isolated individuals they have no choice but to go to a hermit or be in hermit six of cups and seven of cups just recreating illusions from past lives past situations and then it turns into involving children somebody has a teenage son a young daughter Either these children are in the nine of pentacles in reverse energy. These children are uh, basically taking precedence over the earthly aspect. But you want to make sure it's in a grounded, secure, safe, healthy root chakra grounded energy. Okay. So collective, that's the archetype message that I have for you today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.